Hospitals across the U.S. and right here in the Miami Valley are facing capacity challenges. Yeah, with COVID-19 cases surging, hospital leaders say they are working nonstop trying to meet the needs of patients. Two News reporter Madeline Ashley is live with us in the studio after speaking with medical experts about what they are facing each day. Madeline. Brooke, John, medical experts I spoke with say the situation isn't looking great. From bed shortages to extensive wait times, hospitals are at a breaking point. At Miami Valley Hospital, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Roberto Colon says the current situation challenging. There are more patients than, um, than beds that, that we are um, expecting a, a lot of the time, and that leads to, unfortunately, a lot of wait times. Dr. Colon says 15 to 25 percent of current patients are COVID related, with the majority unvaccinated. The emergency department also hit hard. What we're having to do is, is adjust our operations. Uh, I think, you know, we've, we've been hearing from places all over the country that they've had to do this already um, for some time. We are um, catching up with um, some of those volumes pretty quickly. At Kettering Health, emergency physician Dr. Nancy Pook also detailing their struggles. We're seeing extremely high volumes day and night uh, throughout the 24 hours. And uh, yeah, it, it results in people waiting sometimes to even get into the emergency department. Encouraging people to see their family physicians if possible to free up the ERs for people at highest risk. We want to be able to be there at the door for for people with strokes and with heart attacks. So we need to be cognizant of that as we protect our community. And Dr. Cologne has other suggestions to slow hospital demand. We still can influence the next several weeks and months by doing the right things, by getting everybody vaccinated and getting those boosters, by making sure that we're wearing the mask and avoiding those large gatherings. Medical experts continue to ask people to have patience as they deal with high capacity. And if you're someone looking for a COVID-19 test and you don't have symptoms, you're encouraged to look at other urgent care options before coming to the ER. Live in the studio, Madeline Ashley, 2 News working for you.